Today I'll be showing you how to perform a non-parametric runs test for randomness exact. The non-parametric runs test does not assume that the sample data are normally distributed, but it does assume that the test statistic follows a normal distribution when computing the large sample or asymptotic p-value. With a small sample size, this approximation may be invalid, so exact methods should be used. Sigma Excel computes the exact p-values utilizing permutations. It is important to note, while exact p-values are correct, they do not increase the power of a small sample tests, so they are not a solution to the problem of failure to detect a trend due to inadequate sample size. So to begin, we're going to open up the customer data set. You can do this by clicking Help, Sample Data, and we're going to select Customer Data. I'm going to click on Statistical Tools non-parametric tests exact, and runs test exact. If the data set is not already pre-selected, you can select use entire data table and click next. The numeric data variable is overall satisfaction, and the values equal to median will be counted as below. You can click OK for the resulting output. With all of the p-values being greater than 0 0.01, we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the data is random. So now we'll consider a small sample example. We're going to open up the runs test example data. Runs test example data. And again, we're going to select the runs test exact tool. And you can select all four variables here by holding down shift and select clustering to oscillation. And the values equal to median will be counted as below. And click OK for the resulting output. The exact p-values are close to the above large sample or asymptotic results, but note that some of the values are now greater than 0 0.01, so they would fail to reject the null hypothesis. We'll now rerun the analysis using the counted as above option. You can press F3 or click on the recall Sigma Excel dialog to get the last dialog and select counted as above and click OK for the results. Note the change in trends and oscillation, number of runs and resulting dramatic change to the exact p-values. In conclusion, when using runs test exact, always try counted as below and counted as above to ensure that the p-values agree with each other. Also, whenever you have a small sample size and are performing a non-parametric test, always use exact. This concludes the non-parametric runs test exact example. If you'd like to view more videos or tutorials, please visit sigmaxl.com or the Sigma Excel YouTube page. Thank you for watching.